Natina Reed was born on October 28th, 1980, in Queens, New York, to her mother, Tamira Goodrich, and her father, Paul Reed. Her dad was a pastor, and at the age of four, her and the family relocated from New York down to Atlanta, Georgia. She would play drums in his choir. She was a part of the drama ministries. She was always in anything creative. The best way to describe her would probably be multi-talented. She also had a flair for music. She would often beatbox and make her own melodies and songs. She would write poems. I mean, at the age of eight, she began to model in different Macy's and Bloomingdale ads. And by the age of 13, she would discover she really had a future when it came to music because she decided to enter a competition for Sprite to write them a jingle. And she actually won the competition and this boosted her confidence and made her more open to showing other people her work and how good she was when it came to writing because for a long time she liked to keep it to herself. She was very shy about her work, but now that it was out there, it landed into the hands of Left Eye's brother, who was working as a talent scout, and he introduced them, and they immediately hit it off, and Left Eye took her under her wing, and Natina became one of the official writers for TLC. She also had a meeting with music industry heavyweight Tommy Mottola, who encouraged her to pursue a career in the music industry and told her how much he believed in her. All of this while still attending Cedar Grove High in Atlanta. She would work as a writer for TLC over the next few years, but then in 1997, Left Eye started her own production company and she had the thought to create a girl group by the name of Black, the meaning being believe, life, achieving, quest, unity, and everything. It was kind of an outlet for Natina because she was such a creative person, just writing for TLC, it wasn't gonna be enough. She needed to really be able to express herself and perform and be in the spotlight. And now she was becoming an artist. She already knew one of the members of the group, Shamari Fierce from school, and the other member, Brandy Williams, they met during an audition for Left Eye's production company, and they just hit it off, and Black was formed. Our music style is, I would say it's universal, because it's pop, it's R&B, it's rock, it's soul. I mean, it's all of that combined in, on one album, you know? We even got a Latin feel to one of our songs, so it's a lot of different cultures. They would make their first cameo appearance as an official group in 1997 in a music video for Not Tonight, the remix, a song by Little Kim. From there, they would open for NSYNC and be the opening act on the 1999 fan mail tour for TLC. Now, this was a time when TLC was probably one of the biggest pop groups on earth. So it was definitely a lot of exposure for them and able to set them up for their debut album. And on that album, they would work with people like Dallas Austin, Lenny Kravitz, Missy Elliott, a lot of heavy hitters. And Natina, she either wrote or co-wrote on a lot of the songs for that album. And on June 1st, 1999, they released their self-titled debut, led by the hit single, 808. That song was actually written by none other than R. Kelly, but that wasn't the only hit that they had. They had songs like I Do, which Natina actually wrote when she was only 14 years old. And they had the song Bring It All To Me, 
featuring NSYNC. So Black and Natina, they were on fire and their star was rising and it would continue to shine brighter in 2000 when they starred in the teen comedy, Bring It On. Aha, stop being counterproductive, right? Lava, please stop teaching her these big words before she choke on one. No, better I choke you, La Fred. Black would contribute two songs to the movie soundtrack, including the lead single, As If, and in 2001, Natina would get with her then fiance, Corrupt, for his hit single, It's Over. Life was going very well for Natina. She had became a successful songwriter, a successful artist, actor. She had her fiance corrupt. They had a little boy together. Things couldn't get much better, but things would begin to fall apart that following year in 2002, when Black Winter released their second album titled Blackout, which did have a single that charted in the Billboard Top 100, but the album was only released in Japan due to low sales. And to make things even worse, Natina would lose her mentor and her big sister, Lisa Lepti Lopez, due to a tragic car accident that happened down in Honduras. And this not only affected Natina emotionally, it affected her career as well because Left Eye was the one who really believed in Black and she was the one really pushing the group. But now they were just left with the record company who didn't really know what to do with them. Lisa was just the most kindest person on this earth, you know? She had a lot of questions about life. I always told her that she had a very big heart and that I hope that one day somebody will give back to her the way she has given to many other people. And this would mark the decline of Black. And even though the group never officially broke up, they never released another official album either. And on top of that, her engagement to Corrupt came to an end. And Natina, she had just had enough of the music industry and decided that she wanted to take a break. She did not want to do secular music anymore and she wanted to give herself to Christian ministries. I'm so blessed to be here because um, there has been a transformation that has happened in my life and I'm finally getting an opportunity to see people who have already been transformed. Praise God. Praise God. I have noticed that, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but the same demonic activity and the same demonic oppression that comes over people who have been out there in the R&B market. Natina would face some hardships because on April 13th, 2010, she was arrested in Gwinnett County on charges of prostitution, disorderly conduct, cocaine possession, the news picked up the story, but her management, they denied it and said that the mug shots were actually photoshopped. But then again, on June 29th, 2011, she was arrested on driving under the influence, reckless driving and driving without a license. Her license had already been taken away from a previous DUI and she would spend some time in jail for this but even though she had faced hard times in her music career and in her personal life, she was determined not to give up. She was determined not to stay down. She hired an agent so she could revamp her acting career. She started working on scripts, books. She even went to reunite with her old group, Black, at the 2012 Left Eye Festival. They made plans to work with each other on a reality TV show and to create another black album but unfortunately on october 26 2012 natina reed died after being struck by a vehicle while walking on lawrenceville highway in georgia it said that the occupant of the vehicle got out and tried to give her cpr but it was too late and she was already gone her funeral was held on november 3rd in Atlanta, where her parents gave a press conference criticizing the police department, saying that they requested information but was never given it, 
Things like the time of the incident, the exact location, information about the driver, even their daughter's personal belongings were all missing. But according to the police department, they gave out all the information that they had, and that was just the end of it. No charges were ever filed against the driver either. And it said, at the time of her death, she was living in a motel in Norcross, Georgia, a very mysterious ending for a former pop star. And it's definitely very tragic. A mom and dad losing a daughter, her son now left without his mom. And even though her time in the spotlight may have been brief, she definitely left her mark in our hearts. She will never be forgotten. And Natina Reed, she was only 32 years old when she died, man. Rest in peace.